get to see fucking a bunch of nothing really. Sometimes you you don't even see or like feel like you're moving anywhere. You're just going in a direction. You're like uh, because you need something to uh to base things off of. What are you? You're the ghost ship. An unnamed, unmanned uh, shipwreck that continues to wander the skies. Many sailors tell of a ghost ship that appears randomly or appears suddenly from the fog. Some claim that it was once the ship of the great airport Dacket, but no evidence has been found to support it. Look at that. Bunch of discoveries that we're finding. There are a bunch more. I know there's, uh, I believe, somewhere around in this area under the the clouds, there are, um, what the fuck they're called, like twin, twin fires or something. There's like two light balls swirling around that you can uh, find as a discovery. In fact, also the bounty might just be above the clouds, and that is why we couldn't find them before. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, that is something we can find out. But before that happens, we need to go back to the ruins of ice. And Aurora, we will already find that. Oh, there you are. Uh, now we need to go here just to get to the edge. We can go underneath and where the fuck may you be? Are you here? No, hold on. East. There you are. Look at that. Where's the entrance? Oh, there we go. Here we go. This is a secondary entrance in which uh, we get this. I don't know where that leads to necessarily. But we can get to this chest. It has a moonberry. Cool. And yoink. Thank you. We got the moonfish. Sick. Um, we can't use the moonstone, right? Pretty sure everyone has all their things. Yep. What does this do? Ah, oh, it leads over to the actual dungeon. Okay. Well, uh, I don't want that. We've already been here. We already cleared this place out. Completely unnecessary. Let's leave. Okie dokie. Now then. Time to find this douche of a bounty somewhere. I am unsure where they might be. I'm gonna throw a quick guess that they might be above, like, the clouds here. The land of ice. We'll fly low enough to see if they're actually in the bottom area. I don't, don't actually know. It's a bit difficult to tell. Also, we don't know if they're even activated yet. Like, I have them, but don't know if they exist. Or 
exist, but like they've spawned in this area, yeah. Because like you know, generally ships and whatnot, like or certain things stand out. I feel like you would uh, notice them if they were uh, if they were here. Kind of easy to tell, you would imagine. Uh, uh, I guess maybe they're not here. That's also probably something I'll look up for uh, next time. See if uh, I'll look up this bounty, look up crew members. And that's probably that that I need to do. Doubt that they're underneath. That just seems weird. I also don't know if they're in the land of ice or if they're just somewhere close ish. But, anyways, I'm going to show off the. Um, probably the best place to grind in this game. Let's see. It would actually be this way. Right here. Um, no. In fact, we might also find an encounter if this is the location. Oh, we found the Mystic Orchard. Look at that. Once upon a time, there was a faraway island where a jeweled fruit grew on the trees. A young man took one of the fruits to cure his sick mother, but in return, had to come back to the island to become one of the magical trees. Okay. Well, I do not believe this is. Uh, this is connected to Yafutoma, so it's not this area. Uh, if I, oh, right. No, we need to go. Ugh. Okay, so hold on. We need to. What's, what's easier? So we need to go south first. We'll go straight south uh, for a little bit till we get to the top of the map. Okay, fine. Okay. And now we're here. Now we need to go. East, right? Yes. Now, now we get to this point. Okay. This is where we want to go. This is where we want to be. Now then, yes. Here-ish is where it is. Nice. Uh, Asked this place then, yes. Do so above here and then this location right here. We have arrived into a very interesting location. Yes, there are you as well. I don't believe. Yeah, I don't believe this area is officially named in the game. I will wait with you. Yes, I'm aware. Uh, I'll wait with you. So, this place, though, is either fan named or somewhere named in the game uh, Looperland. Because of a single fucking reason. In that there will only spawn loopers in this area. Only. All variants of them. Now, this is an incredibly. Loopers are actually a very good source of experience. 
Loopers also, I believe, potentially give more magic experience, so you can level up your magics faster. I think Loopers also have a higher chance of dropping Moonberries. Or that's just me in my head. Who knows? I could be wrong. I also think they might drop a fair amount of gold. But obviously, they are very... Um, um, they tend to want to run away a lot. Which means that if you have the black map on you, they can't run away. Which means that all of the ones that you encounter are guaranteed experience. Also, if you decide to use it now, it's going to be a bit more difficult because... Uh, loopers are very resistant to magic. Not immune, but very resistant to it. And they are also very hard to hit in just base attacks. However, if you have 14 um, spirits at the start of a round, you can always use um, Vice's uh, Reign of Swords at the beginning of the round and just kill all of them. And then you just do that over and over again. You do a new encounter, you do Reign of Swords, kill all of them. You go into a new encounter, Reign of Swords, kill all of them. And since they can't escape at the same time, if you have the black map on, you will just one-shot them. Even like... Like, I could do that because, like, obviously my thing is having the Captain's Hat. But I don't need the Captain's Hat to one-shot these guys with Rain of Swords anyways. Because they don't have enough HP slash defense for that matter. Um, like, they will die anyways. Also, Ike is interesting here because I've built her for hits. And so she can just basic attack <laughs> them and, and actually hit them because... They have such... Uh, because she has such high hit. But yes, so this place... Full of loopers. This, uh, yeah. Here we have a discovery. Long line. It said that long line fishing was developed by ancient Yafutomans as a way of effectively catch fish... To effectively catch fish that don't travel in big schools. It is believed that this was one of the first long lines ever created. Ooh. -hoo. Uh. Ooh, some fish. What could these fishes be? High quality fish? No, just bee fish. Okay. Is there anything cool here? Did I see something cool? No, probably not. Alright. So we had this big dude. It's a big looper. Actually, also, we could go back into the Dark Rift. Um, there is an enemy encounter there as well. I don't know if it spa has spawned now. If it just spawns whenever you go back into the Dark Rift. Or if it's... Um, yeah, no, this area isn't named anything. But it's, it's called Berland. That's what people, people decide to call it. Um, yes, this guy. I don't know if this fucker acts as a normal looper. Uh, outside of... No, like, without the running away bit. But, like, it is, like, hard to be in or hard to hit and whatnot. Yes, we'll see. In the Dark Rift, there is another um, looper enemy that you can fight. Uh, that one, however, I'm pretty sure it is... A fuck ton more dangerous than this one. But let's see here first. We shall probably just let's see what do we have. Max out spirit points. Increase attack and defense. Reduce spirit points costs. Raise chance of attacking first. Protect you from enemy cannon fire. I don't know what that that will matter. We'll max out your spirit points. Okay. Before we maybe do that, I'll yeah I'll just focus and we'll see where in the terms of damage scale this does this thing does. I don't feel like it will do that much damage, but I don't know. I don't remember really what it does. It's kind of one of those encounters that 
Oh yeah, 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 it likes to have these rings that it kind of just teleports between. Instead of moving around, it's very stationary, except it switches location. Looper ring, yes. What's this? Is that its only attack? How much damage does it do? An all right amount of damage, actually. It's respectable for, you know, you. It's pretty respectable damage. Does it do that at the end of the turn? Like the last round thing? Is that when it does it? Maybe. Quite possible. I guess I don't know if this scales with... Um, Magic. You can always use magic. Actually, uh, I don't want to use magic. Well, actually, we can try. I don't think this is gonna do much. Giant Looper, it's kind of whatever you will use Crystal and I guess. High accuracy. Well, yeah, sure, we'll do that. Fire! Yeah. Just wanted to check. Wasn't uh, really assuming it was gonna do anything. Since it is a looper, it is going to be resistant to magic. Yeah, it's some good damage actually. Still nothing I can't deal with, but... Ooh, torpedoes still hit him. Curious. Still hit by torpedoes, huh? Interesting, does it just avoid every time it's being shot at with cannons now, or...? Maybe that was because it was the last round. Wait, we do that. You obviously do your torpedo. Uh, you don't believe anyone. Just attack first. You just focus and you will, uh... Yeah. No, you did hit. It's not completely scaling with magic since it took some damage. Ouchies. All right, time for you to die. Get skewered, bitch. Oh, uh, and there you went. There you went. Bunch of gold and experience. Hell yeah. Thermal grease, crafting and stripe. Nice. Hex shell. That's pretty neat. Let's see, you use that. What's that? Barrier against artillery attacks for one turn. Don't know what that means. Okay. Alright. I 
actually heal up our ship. Yep. Uh, all right. So we could grind our way here if we wanted to, but I'm not feeling particularly interested in doing that. Uh, next up, though, we did catch a moonfish, so we can go over to dock and get our reward for that. Um, I think I want to go to Sailor Island anyways to make sure with the bounty and whatnot. Plus, we can get some money um, for uh, some of the discoveries we've collected. Also, uh, who the fuck was Domingo? Ah, oh, he was in Gordos Bistro. He wanted us to have collected... How many? 25 discoveries? Let's check how many we have. Uh, next page. Uh, journal. Discoveries. How many do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I don't know how many he wanted us to have. Hold on, we're close to the north. Yeah. Like, right by it. We might as well check. You know? Domingo is one of them. So we might as well check if... Uh, if we've... Found all the ones he wanted. Is that one... Beneath? Or is that... No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> wondering. Oh yeah, I was wondering if... Uh, we found the things... The amount of things he wanted. Then we can get him, and then there's only two left, which I don't know who they are. How's everything? How says yeah, how will they join us? If it's okay with you, I would like to join you uh you to join my crew. Let us work together and find all the discoveries in the world. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, but only if it's like you know, if you find at least 30 discoveries. I have? I'll admit that you're better, but I doubt that there's anyone that could actually do that. <laughs> I wouldn't talk so fast, I've already found more than 30 discoveries. Fuck yeah, we have exactly 30. R really? I don't believe it. You actually found more than 30 discoveries? I mean, I can actually find more because I know that there's at least one under Valua that I can get now. So... Fuck you. You are truly a treasure hunter vice. Like I promised, I'll join you in your quests. And besides, you got two very beautiful women with you. How can I resist? Don't expect anything from them. We got a look out. Radio. What does your things look like? Um, Domingo. Tika Tika, uh, having in your active crew increases your Tipito's hit percentage. Hell yeah, what does this do? Having in your active crew increases your chances of delivering critical hits. No! Because <laughs> I don't know. I can't gauge that shit. Because it doesn't really tell you what is a critical hit and what isn't. Nor how much chance I have. Like, it just says that. I'd rather have him. Or increasing hits with torpedoes. Because torpedoes do a lot of damage if you can actually hit with them. Which is why I use Ike, which already has a, a high hit. But okay, so now we have two Moonfishes. Two crew members. And two Chams left um that's pretty cool and, ooh. uh we're heading east eastwards yeah this makes it a lot easier to get to places because then you don't have to constantly you don't have to put on your white map and go through places you, and or like navigate through things. You just need to pick a direction, go straight there, and then go down. When you reached your uh, your location, which is very neat. I'm just like, what the fuck? What are you talking about? But they was th they were thinking underneath. There's dock ships, but I want to check uh, on the actual island first. 
Let's let's see if um I don't feel like they will have any new things, but you can always check. No, not even close. <laughs> Ah, good to know. Yeah. There isn't any items that I need. No, not even close. How many oral valors do I have? Three, okay. Decent. Do 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 do. Hey, sup? Ah, yeah, okay, this guy, a pirate with enough money to buy the world. I don't know if we read this writing. Aboard a goddess ship plated in gold, this pirate has been known to attack all who cross his path. A wealthy Yavatoman he has seen traveling near the lands of ice. It is said that he throws money at his bonus, confusing them into fights. And Lord Sivilin Bane, the supposed leader... Of an infamous clan of bandits, nothing is known about his true identity. Nobody knows where he is from. If there is no one about his fighting tactics, other than his use of explosive powder, avoid this attack at all costs. Yes, that is the last bounty. Uh, I will check Land of Ice again now that we've checked here. De definitively, I don't remember if I had before. Um... Okay, we can sell here, sell this. Bunch of things. Oh, look at that Sky Train being worth money. Buying for Sky Coral, Hidden Stash, Doppler Rock, Ways of Endless. There's an amount of things. I'm guessing they. I oh, know certain things are not found by Domingo. Uh, 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 uh. But otherwise, our next destination is obviously um, Valua, or underneath Valua. The Valua. Underneath the Alu Valuan Island, I guess. But first, we shall go to Dock. Where the fuck are you? My Dock. Here we go. Because I want that reward from the Moonfish. Do 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 do. Hi. Don't need to skip through everything necessarily here because there we only leave one. You grow very slightly. And then you want to spit something out. Yeah, I'm gonna check if um Oh where do we actually marksman gun? Okay. Oh! This led to something. Oh, didn't expect that. Thank you for always bringing fish for me. There's only two left though. Look at how much pick pickle off. Right. Look how much pickle has grown. Whoa, and think he used to be small enough to fit in the palm of your hands. Tell me about it. Who would have thought that it would grow this big? Pickle, let's go play over there. Alright, be careful if that big guy starts running around this rickety old ship won't hold together long. I know. Take a look. Come, come on, over here. I just want to thank you, Ice. Because of, because of you and your crew, Maria has finally come out of her shell. She's become herself again. In return, well, that's a strange way to put it, but in return, I'll tell you the rest of my story. It's hard for me to talk about it, but if Maria can be strong enough to get over her past, I can't sit here and dwell on my past, either. I guess I've finally become strong enough to realize that. Well, if you must know, then I'll tell you. I'll tell you the tragedy that befell Ramirez. Depend on a person too much, and they will betray your trust sooner or later. Or so Galshin told Ramirez. Maybe that, maybe that hit a little close to home. I don't know. But for whatever reason, Ramirez began to snoop around for information regarding Mendoza. 
that's when we found that out that the Mendoza was using the Exotakins as slaves for his own personal profit. Forced the Exotakins to work a few extra hours here and there and pocketed all the extra moonstones that they found for himself. The shock of this discovery was almost too much for Ramirez to bear. He went directly to Admiral Mendoza and confronted him. My lord, is, is it true? Is it true about the moonstones and the Exotakins slaves? I won't lie to you. Yes, it is true. But what's the problem? Is there something wrong with the, the with making money? With desiring wealth and power? You're forcing the Exotakins to work grueling hours in humane, inhumane conditions. My lord, you promised me. You told me that you would speak to her majesty in regards to the way the Exotakins were being treated. <laughs> you truly are naive, aren't you? What exactly do you think would have happened if I did that? Her Majesty would find out about my little scheme. I would basically be signing my own death warrants. How? How could you lie to me like that? It's quite unfortunate that things had to turn out this way, Ramirez. I think I thought of you as a son. Regardless, you have uncovered my plans, and have left me with no choice. Guards, seize them. Everything. All that I have believed in. Not yelling. By the time I got there, it was already too late. The guards, even Admiral Mendoza, had all fallen under Ramirez's blade. Ramirez, what, what have you done? I, sorry, Doc, but I can no longer trust humans. I can no longer remain here. Wait, Ramirez, where are you going? Goodbye, Doc. The Ramirez that you knew is no more. He died the moment I drew my blade against Admiral Mendoza. From now on, I will only believe in strength. I shall only follow those with power. Ramirez! Oh, I forgot that that was there. That's cool. <laughs> and so Ramirez went to Galsian's side. And I believe you know the rest of the story. Now, if we're talking realistically in terms of character building and like story, I feel like this, um, this reasoning seems a bit weird. Why you would? It's it seems weird. It just kind of does. I feel like he would just kind of say "fuck you" to all humans and just go off alone somewhere, but. Uh, I had spent so much time with both Mendoza and Ramirez, and yet I could do nothing to stop this tragedy from happening. If I only had the strength to stop him, Mendoza, Ramirez, and even Maria, all of their lives would have turned out so much differently. I know, I know. I'm just going to stop. I'm going to stop living in the past. You just gotta. Just gotta keep looking forward and hope for the best. Besides, I think it's a, it's a blessing that I was able to save Maria from the burning wreckage of the Aquila. Uh -huh. Aquila? That name. Wait a second there. Wait a second there, Fina. You don't think... Well, I heard that some air pirates that were passing through the area helped save most of the uh, crew after we left, though. Hey, Doc. Maria wouldn't happen to have an older sister, would she? Uh, actually, she did. Wait, did I forget to tell you that? Well, unfortunately, she went missing after the accident. Nobody knows what happened to her. Poor Piasto. It bothered me for years that I couldn't save both of them. Vice, then it is her. Uh -huh. There's no doubt about it. Maria and Piasto are long lost sisters. We gotta tell Piasto. He has said that she would become fight us again sometime. When we see her, tell her everything we know. What she does with this information is up to her. Uh-huh, we get a fucking... Ooh, plot twist!